All right, so we have some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. Following yesterday's Pokemon Presents, the game updated. It added new Pokemon with the Paradox Terra Raids, but also prepped for the DLC, which means the Datamine is giving us all kinds of goodies, like with Sword and Shield 1.2.0 and Scarlet Violet 1.2.0. Game Freak have deleted Pokedex entries for a lot of Pokemon instead of stubbing them. Included in the list are all the currently confirmed returning Pokemon for the DLC, like Yanma. And then people were skeptical, like, wait, what does this mean? Out of curiosity, when Game Freak deleted the Dex entries in Swish, how many of those Pokemon did and did not make it into DLC? Every single one of the deleted Dex entries made it into the DLC. There was one exception, but then got added with Magirna. So like, there were, yeah, one or two outliers out of several hundred Pokemon, and we already have some of them confirmed through the Pokemon Presents, so we are going to go into that list. However, there's also other Pokemon news to talk about because the Pokemon Presents, pretty much all of it, was leaked. So Friday, February 24th, a few days before the Pokemon Presents, this was posted to 4chan, and sometimes it just happens. I think it happened for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, where after a trailer, there was a random post on 4chan that leaked the trailer, and then this happens from time to time, but it doesn't establish anything. We don't have a new confirmed source leaker that's going to be giving us all the good information, and it took until after the Pokemon Presents to realize this wasn't fake, like 99% of the posts on 4chan. Also, reminder, Koo becomes more and more of a fraud as Generation 9 goes on. It's been 100% confirmed that Koo has no value for upcoming Pokemon game information. Kaka really exposed him by actually giving us game details and giving us game images. And when it comes to Koo, since he's not a source or makes vague posts that are often wrong, you really can't get anything from them. And then we have Chad leakers like this that drop the trailer, elaborate no further, and leave. So yeah, we just have like some weird stuff that happened from time to time. The information does get out. There's real leakers out there. Sometimes we get something like the Affleck leaks where we just find out about half the game and it just kind of plays out like a script over time. Or we just get some really weird stuff where people get access to trailer footage and then upload it early and then like spoil the trailer a few days before like what happened with this one that had like all these Pokemon where we got to see the background footage just get uploaded to YouTube. When this trailer leaked, it had European game footage, so the localization is generally where the leaks are going to come from. Also, we have the Chinese leaks for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, unfortunately, Koo being a fraud has actually diluted a lot of the real and interesting leaks that can come out from a new Pokemon game or DLC or trailers or Pokemon Presents or something. The theme of the DLC is Hidden Treasure of Area Zero and Hexagon, so I could just be like codenames and stuff. Version 1.2.0 includes dressable clothes as a reward for DLC purchases, and also includes Paradox Suicune, Paradox Verizian, gives typings, gives their names, but translations and localization stuff, a mystery Pokemon with a green mask, a special terrestrial appearance, the third legendary Pokemon is a large blue turtle, and then the last part of this leak is where we go outside of Pokemon into the crazy speculation about like a new Nintendo Switch or an updated Nintendo Switch and stuff like that. We are working on a graphics enhancement patch for the new Nintendo Switch models that will be released alongside DLC 2. Now the problem with Nintendo Switch leaks is that everyone's been lying about them for so long and just making so much stuff up. No one really knows what that means anymore. At first it was just supposed to be a Nintendo Switch Pro, but now we're getting so late into the Nintendo Switch lifespan, everyone's like, oh it's just Nintendo Switch 2, it's a brand new console upgrade, it's just going to be a completely different console, maybe it has backwards compatibility. Again, like, the it, it really doesn't make any sense at this point. So an enhancement patch for the new Nintendo Switch model makes it sound like it's going to be a new Nintendo Switch, kind of like the new 3DS, that it still just prolonged the lifespan of the console, gave some kind of hardware upgrade that improves performance and works better with some of the newer games, but isn't a new console because we're not going, it isn't a new generation of console. So anyone that's been talking about a new generation of Nintendo Switch consoles or a console upgrade for Nintendo, that just seems to be wrong based off of this leak, which has confirmed information, and a Nintendo Switch Pro or a slight model upgrade isn't as big of a deal as people are making it. But again, we don't know what any of this means anymore because people have been lying about a new Nintendo Switch for many years now. 
However, even though this post leaked a lot about the DLC, I still find some of the details to be dubious and untrustworthy, which is what's happened in the past for Pokemon leaks. We had the Rainbow Rocket leaks, just giving us all the crazy stuff from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but they said new Alolan forms, which weren't in the game. So even though we have something hard confirmed, there could still be some wrong details inside of it. And that's why I'm like, a programmer at a Pokemon outsourcing company would be able to give us more news than just what's in the trailer. And as we've kind of seen from people only leaking information inside trailer, I don't believe this is like a programmer that's working on a graphics enhancement patch for the Nintendo Switch. This could just be a troll. This could just be, I have the information because I translated or got access to some of the material inside the new trailer. And I can use that to just blow people's minds. And then add something fake to get people really excited because everything else I'm saying is going to come true. So this could just kind of be fluff, you know, my English is poor, my uncle works in Nintendo, I saw a thing of someone working on something and I, I can barely get this information out. So the programmer thing just kind of feels like a lie because we would have more information than what was just in the marketing material. And then that makes me wonder if this bottom part is just made up stuff. It could also just be a lie. That's a likely guess. All you have to do is say new Nintendo Switch model is going to be announced for this winter with every Nintendo Direct and eventually you'll be right and it doesn't matter how many times you're wrong before. We, we see this with Centro Pokemon and all the other fraudulent Nintendo leakers that have been saying the same thing for many years now where it's like, well, that new Nintendo Switch model is going to be released eventually, and I, I heard, you know, there's a leak, there's a rumor that it's going to be winter of this year. And then when it turned out to be the OLED, no one was correct about that either. So yeah, it's still dubious on this information, and since it doesn't give us anything else to go off of for the future, leak's done. However, even though it's a confirmed leak, it doesn't have any value now because there's no reliability for like the upcoming Nintendo Switch thing and you can't really extract any more narratives because it's all come and gone. Uh, we do have hard confirmed information with the Pokemon data mine, so we can take a look at the Pokemon that will be returning. So there are some interesting ones. All the starter Pokemon are coming back except for the Gen 5 starters because we don't have any of the other generation fossil Pokemon, so... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this list ends up playing out. We got Generation 4, Evolution Pokemon, Yanmega, Mamoswine, Electivire, Magmortar, the ones... I think that, that covers all of them, right? On top of the ones already in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Generation 4, like, just no starters. Going straight into Zebstrika, alright. Excadrill's interesting. Uh, we're in an Oko meta. King Gambit's really been running with a gu guillotine, that horn drill. Just crushing non-ghost type Pokemon. Excadrill finds it, dude. Um, Scraggy Scrafty, that can get nasty. Chinchino, the other mousehold kind of Pokemon. Renaclis is really strong with that Regenerator. So, I mean, like, yeah, when you think about Terrastal and all the other kind of weird Pokemon that are coming in, if they get selected to come back into the decks, that's going to change up competitive a lot. Trevenant's cool. Uh, we also get to see just some other stuff. Trevenant's cool. The Generation 6 starter Pokemon, I think, are already in. And that's why we got like the Greninja event. Also, I think the legendary Pokemon are already in the game data. So not seeing the legendary Pokemon here, that's why. We got generation seven starters, some generation seven Pokemon. Araquanid's interesting. Minior is back in the game, boys. And then not a lot of generation eight Pokemons. We got Cramorant, Alcremie, Morpico, Duraludon. Duraludon. Even though that thing was an absolute beast with Dynamax, I don't think it's going to be as much of a beast but could still have some shenanigans. And then we have Hisuian Pokemon, but I think, I thought their game data was already kind of in anyways. So maybe because it got data mine for Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's a little different. Also, we don't have the Pokemon Home update. I'm pretty sure when we get the Pokemon Home update, that's going to have like all the data and all the flags and all like the pre-transfer stuff to where we can data mine it a bit more effectively. But it seems like this is going to be the list much like Pokemon Sword and Shield. And then a few other weird details or maybe Game Freak forgot something or they're still working on figuring out the decks and that's going to be it so hope you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching